center field. Cardinals win it wow. three to nothing on Wednesday. NL Central standings, and they look, if you look at them, they look the same. I got it. In terms of the order, the Brewers at the top, the Cardinals at the bottom, but the deficit for St. Louis is six and a half. And they're working this past week. And Nolan Gorman, Dero, in a lineup full of stars. The club talks about how he's made adjustments at every level. Yeah. And you're seeing it pay off, right? Yeah, what do you think, Dero? What are you seeing uh, from, uh, from Nolan Gorman? Well, first off, hats off to Nolan Arenado. We'll get into that a little bit yeah. more in round of Congrats. bases. But I got to give love to Nolan Gorman because they're hitting him right in between Arenado and Goldschmidt, mm -hmm. finding consistent ABs for this guy who seems to be positioned blocked, obviously, by Nolan Arenado. They've tried to move him over to second base. Obviously going to DH a little bit more, but the bat plays. He's got to be in there doing big time stuff. I want to, I love the draft. I love diving in on these guys. I go back to 2018. We were cutting tape on different draft prospects. I said, can I please have Nolan Gorman? I watch him take BP and Wrigley Field as a high school player, and I fell in love. Listen to this real quick. This is the guy, if you're watching the prospect videos, the top 30, top 50 guys, this is the guy that jumps off the page for me. Left-handed, sweet swinging, check this out right here. Walking away from his hands, that rubber band effect just hitting missiles up the middle the other way. He showcased like nobody's business at Wrigley Field winning the home run derby. Let's walk it off right there. But honestly, when you look at video, body awareness, swing, what a big leaguer supposed to look like, this is the guy. Picking and grinning at third base. He's shown well on the biggest of stages at Petco Park against the high school's elite. There he is going deep. Offensively, he's got a little Corey Seager in his game. Pull him right there. There's Billy Rick Ripken handing him the belt. I think this guy is can't miss. Does have a little Corey Seager in his game. Know what he's on pace for this year? 37 and a buck 24. Bring up the first board for me. What he's doing season wise. Take a look at this. Get consistent ABs. This guy can flat hit. Okay? Look at his batting average 283, 10 homers, OPS plus of 162. That's sixth in all of baseball. Really playing well, swinging the bat well, giving them a chance. Let's get into the tape a little bit. Because Eric Nays, researcher to the stars, handed me a manifesto on this guy. He says you need to lock in on him a little bit more. He's made some subtle changes in what he's doing at the plate. And I wanted to dive in. The first thing, all right, he is controlling the strike zone. We see this a lot as guys get more comfortable. He was a guy that wanted to hit his way on, and now he's realizing, hey, I can take those close pitches to get those ones over the heart of the plate. Bring up the next board, the plate discipline board. Take a look at this, comparisons, 2022. 31.3% chase rate. He's got it down 8%, getting guys more in the zone, and he hammers it if it's middle-middle, okay? Take a look, middle swing percentage, 87.3%. 87% uh, of the time last year. Now, you miss over the heart of the plate, 93 and a half. He's taking you deep. So the ability to pe have good peepers, let's get back in to the video. Take a look. Last year, you see this a lot. It's, it's why I show it every day. The tinkering back and forth. The toe tap might work this month. I might have to go to a leg kick. The constant adjustments guys are making to be successful and to get to high velocity consistently. 2022, cutting his teeth in the big leagues, getting comfortable, you see it all the time. Grinding, getting into your legs, knowing he's getting four ABs a night, way more athletic. And why do guys stand up more uh, taller? They want to get to the elevated heater a little bit better. That was a pitch that kind of beat him up a little bit early in his career. This year, we'll bring up a board eventually where he's getting to that a lot more. And he's got light tower power. I mean, you miss over the harder plate, it's destroyed. Little grand slam right there on a 1-0 count into the bullpen. The ability to hit the ball to all fields. Coors Field, there's no cheat, 1-0. I don't have to pull everything. Wrigley Field, more of the same. Jamison Tyon, I could take you deep the other way. So the control the strike zone, make subtle adjustments. There he is in high school. Run that back again. Set it up, boom. He's gotten more athletic in his base. Hands are pretty similar, run that. I didn't look like that in high school. 
That's why I had to go to college and grind it out for a, mm -hmm. a couple more years. But, and then take a look at this. Pause. Perfect, most powerful, most powerful position to deliver a blow to the baseball. Run it. Pause. Look at him coil that back hip. Once that foot lands, he's just gonna rotate off that back hip inside of the back knee, run it. Boom. What a gorgeous swing. Splits by pitch type. Last year, hit $1.88 off heaters. He's hitting 317 wow. off them now. Wow. Non-fastballs, 262, 600 slug. And I just want to show the board of the elevated heater, and I'll get out. Do we have it? Take a look at this. Now, that, this is not top, top, top of the zone. We're right here. We're just getting here. They were elevating it to him, trying to rush it by him. He was 10 for 73 last year with a 137 batting average and no damage. He's made a concerted effort to stand a little bit taller, to close up that hole. He's got plate discipline. He's hitting in between two future Hall of Famers. Life is good for Nolan Gorman. They're going to get rolling. His manager says his demeanor is like this, even when you he's can tell. There's no panic, right? That was really good, Nero. Awesome. And the timing. Look at the, the time. Nine nineteen. I'm coachable, Robert. Coachable. I was pulled, into, I was pulled into the office very, yesterday. Especially on a non-re-air day. That's what you want. I was getting heavy.